and welcome to Cook with Mel. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you know when I've posted a new recipe. Today we have got an amazing cookie recipe for you and traditionally it's called White Christmas but I'm calling it a strawberry pistachio cookie because I believe you can have this cookie at any time of the year. The nutritional information and your shopping list is in the description box. Let's get into the recipe now. Here, 150 grams or five ounces of coconut oil. And as you know, coconut oil is in a solid form, um, you know, when it's cold. So we're just gonna add that to either a large jug that you can microwave uh, with or a bowl. And we will need the same amount for coconut butter, 150 grams or five ounces. Now, I know coconut butter is quite a unique ingredient and I made this myself. I just took desiccated coconut and blitzed it either in a blender or a food processor. And it takes about maybe five minutes and um, the oils from the coconut butter, the coconut release and this is what happens. It becomes in this kind of butter consistency. So we're going to just add that to the bowl as well. And then we're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of salt. And after we add these three ingredients, we're going to microwave these three ingredients until the salt is melted. Okay, so I have been microwaving for about a minute and I'm just gonna give this a stir, but I think it needs another minute just for the cocoa, coconut butter to melt further. Okay, so that's been in the microwave for another minute and I am happy with this now, it's quite smooth. This recipe is by HaveButterWillTravel.com and they give you the option of doing it on the stove top. Don't do it on the stove top. Um, the coconut butter is really prone to burning and it completely changes, it goes to a coffee color and then you don't have this beautiful white color. So I would strongly advise you just to use the microwave method. We're going to set this aside to cool a little bit because as you know, we're gonna add vanilla and we can't add um, vanilla to um, very hot uh, batter. So we're gonna let this cool a little bit and prepare our pistachios and dried strawberries. Next, you're going to chop up 30 grams of pistachio nuts. And here I have mine already done. And also you will need 15 grams of freeze dried strawberries. And they're just basically strawberries that have been dried. Um, and I think the brand I found was Frizzles or something, but you should be able to, I didn't have any trouble finding it in the store. We're back to our uh, coconut mixture and it has cooled slightly. Now we're going to add a cup of desiccated coconut Here I just used some monk fruit and um, put it in uh, a blender to, um, to powder it and this is half a cup's worth and we're going to add that in as well. And now we're just going to stir this until everything is fully incorporated and your sugar is dissolved. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. And now we're going to add in two teaspoons of vanilla. I'm using organic vanilla bean paste, um, but yeah, that's probably the best one to use. And stir that in. And then we will be adding our pistachio nuts and the freeze dried strawberries.
I'm just going to combine that all. Okay, you can see that the pistachios and the dried strawberries are pretty well incorporated. And now we are going to pour it into this. And I've got here a um, little um, Pyrex dish that has been greased and lined with uh, parchment paper or baking paper. And we're just going to pour all of that into the dish and refrigerate for four hours. And it's gonna sit, and then you cut it up and ready to serve. This is what it looks like before it goes in the fridge. It's pretty uh, fluid at the moment. And I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Our strawberry pistachio cookies or white Christmas cookies are now ready and I've taken it out of the fridge. So now we are going to loosen it from the container and plate it up. So literally you stick a knife in there and it just starts lifting. I'm not sure if you guys can see that because it's a solid piece. And then it just comes out all in one go. How easy is that? Very easy. Mine is really solid. So if you find the same, just angle your knife down like that and then angle it. Just work your way in and have a little bit of patience. Angling and then angling. Clean cut. And look at these beauties, how colorful and pretty they are. I guess they're called white Christmas cookies because you know, the traditional colors, red and green. But I reckon you could have this any time of the year because they are so, so good. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful recipe and get to make these wonderful cookies. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and be well.